Hey guys, we're back and contrary, contrary, contrary to what others are saying. It's so ugly. Where's the on and off switch? Put the LEDs on the inside. This, in my opinion, is the smartest battery case available. Allow me to explain. This is the Apple Smart Battery Case. With all the negative criticism about the case, I don't blame it for being a little shy. Made of hard plastic coated with the same silicone from the silicone shell case, it also has a flexible top piece. The interior is also lined with a soft microfiber. Installation is simple, just slide it in through the top and push the corners in place. The buttons are covered with a flexible silicone that's comfortable to click. There's a fair size cutout for the mute locker, and yes, the case does take a lightning cable, also with a deep recessed audio jack that the earpods will fit. The bottom speaker and microphone are redirected to face the user, and a standard camera cutout on the back. But the heart of the case is an 1877mAh battery, and yes, the charging indicator is on the inside of the case. But that's the point, I don't want to deal with it. This case is meant to be super simple. The instruction included is one diagram of how to install the iPhone. Because really, after that, you don't have to worry about it. Just know that you have more battery now. That's how battery cases should be. Now, did you see that? Apple's completely removed the step, a nuisance almost, for you to deal with. It just continuously charges your iPhone, which isn't a bad thing at all. There are no indicators, switches, or lights to be seen on the exterior. But if for some reason you want to know what's left, the status has been integrated into iOS 9 and in a notification center, or just look at this. If it's charging, there's battery left. If it's not, the battery's dead, and I'm running on the iPhone battery. Thanks to being a first party accessory, when you plug it in, it charges both the iPhone and case at the same time. Third party cases are restricted to only charging the iPhone first, leaving you to wait to charge the case separately later. So go about your day not having to worry about your iPhone's battery. If you're a power user, you'll last throughout the day and all that without overheating the iPhone like other battery cases tend to do. Another oversight is the design of the battery, but in reality, the thoughtful design makes it one of the most comfortable cases to use. It's slim enough that it feels like I'm holding my plain iPhone and my hand and fingers rest in the exact same positions. Yes, Apple left the top and bottom empty. It serves a dual purpose as the top bump is a finger rest for me and the bottom is a palm rest. The silicone is a great grip on surfaces as well, which helps with accidental slippage. There's also a lip around the front that helps with laying your iPhone face down, but combined with the silicone, offers some decent protection. Just like the original silicone case, it attracts any dust or dirt that comes in contact with it, but at least it'll help clean out your pockets. Secondly, many third-party headphone jacks won't fit inside the audio jack. It's a common design issue with battery cases, but others provide an extension cable. Whereas for $129 Canadian, I'd expect Apple to do so as well. Maybe even throwing a lightning cable or two. The case does cost $99 in US, $129 in Canadian because conversion currency stuff. It comes in this charcoal black and a pure white that you probably don't want to get because dirt. Then the Apple Smart Battery Case is the most comfortable battery case I've ever used. It's managed to remove the on off switch and any other indicators for you to worry about, which is a good thing. Round of applause because I already struggle with turning other things on. I don't want to be worrying about turning my case on. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give a thumbs down. And do subscribe for future updates. I rest my most comfortable battery case ever.